My name is Tarmac and this is your Game Industry News Wrap-Up for the week of October 22, 2016. The Nintendo Switch was announced with some pretty impressive fanfare. Nintendo released a trailer which showed a number of games including a new Mario title, new or at least updated versions of Splatoon and Mario Kart, as well as Skyrim of all things. Nintendo stock rose about 5% just prior to the announcement due to an announcement of the announcement, but then dropped over 7% after everyone saw what the announcement actually entailed. The odd bit about the trailer was its focus on adult gamers and mobile local multiplayer. Won't anyone think of the children? The Screen Actors Guild, a union representing voice actors in video games, has rejected an offer from major game publishers for certain pay rate increases as the increases disregard their primary concerns relating to stunt pay and bonuses based on game sales. For someone whose voice is their job, intense vocal sessions can be damaging and of course Hollywood provides some voice actors royalties based on film success. So now, the voice actors have gone on strike. You could say that the publisher deal was out of tune with reality. The union voiced their concern. The voice actors didn't like the tone of the offer. Samsung has issued a copyright takedown against a Grand Theft Auto V mod video. The video showed a mod that puts a Galaxy Note 7 into the game that is also a bomb. Some of you may be asking what this has to do with copyright. Well, Samsung is abusing the YouTube DMCA copyright system in order to stifle criticism. It's now a felony in the United States to take a Galaxy Note 7 on an airplane, but you know what isn't a felony? Uploading a video making fun of Samsung devices exploding, also known as parody fair use exception under US copyright law. Unfortunately, submitting false DMCA takedowns isn't a felony either though. Sony has announced the inclusion of tournaments within the PlayStation platform. The partnership with ESL begins with an NBA 2017 tournament running from October 27th to November 26th, and the top three players will get some PlayStation gear as prizes. Players need to have PlayStation Plus on their account and an ESL account linked as well in order to participate. Esports is infecting everything, and that's awesome. The hype disappointment was palpable in the Diablo community when it was revealed that David Brevik's Diablo tweet was not what it appeared to be. He had talked about how he was proud to be an advisor for a game that is pushing the genre forward. Turns out that game is Path of Exile and that he's a part of the Chinese version rollout. Blizzard had better get on some kind of Diablo content announcement soon, or I'm starting to wonder if Diablo fans may start to complain. And that which you seek will not be yours. Enough! Enough! PlayStation VR is pushing virtual reality as a market pretty hard with a very strong launch in Japan. While we don't know much for numbers in the rest of the world, the PSVR sold around 50,000 copies in its first week in Japan. Just wait until they find out you can't look up skirts in Sony's VR ecosystem. Star Wars Battlefront is getting an Ultimate Edition which will include the base game and the four expansions, those being Outer Rim, Bespin, Death Star, and Rogue One Scarif. Apologies in advance if my pronunciation of any of those hurt your deepest, darkest feelings. The game will cost $40 US and release on November 18th, just in time for a month of gaming before the Rogue One movie release in December. This release almost makes Star Wars Battlefront worth buying. In advance of BlizzCon 2016, Blizzard has introduced a little reward for predicting who's going to win the Hearthstone tournament. You get one free pack just for picking your champion and then additional packs to a maximum of six depending on how well your pick does in the tournament. All of the packs are from the Grand Tournament expansion though, which kind of sucks. You can choose your champion by checking out the link panel in the battle.net client. Don't you let me down, Pavel, or else I will talk about you unfavorably for a short period of time. This has been your Game Industry News Wrap-Up for the week of October 22nd, 2016. Follow me at Gnomecast on Twitter for more discussion, or swing by my Discord channel, link in the description. My name is Tarmac. Thanks for watching.